Sending a silent, solemn message to the incoming Ofsted team, whose inspection these teachers had tried but failed to halt. And this is why. Ruth Perry worked some 20 miles away. The head took her own life after an inspection that found her school was good in all areas but leadership and inadequate was the ultimate result. Her family said in a statement she was under intolerable pressure and added, we are in no doubt that Ruth's death was a direct result of the pressure put on her by the process and outcome of an Ofsted inspection at her school. You, have, you come in every morning to school thinking, OK, am I going to get the call today? At another nearby primary, they're due an inspection and the head is waiting for the one day's notice. That, you know, you, you're working really, really hard to do everything right and the fact that one person could, particularly if you get the wrong person, come in and find something not quite right and then the school could become inadequate or you know, into a category and that is really scary. Teaching unions say the current system is too high stakes. It's time for an overhaul. Ofsted is a toxic brand. Uh, children know what Ofsted is. They know it has an impact on their education. We believe that uh, we absolutely need a new accountability system that looks realistically at how schools can work together to improve the education for children and young people. Ofsted said they are deeply saddened by Ruth Perry's tragic death, but the teachers protesting in solidarity at John Rankin Infants couldn't stop their inspection going ahead. And the government said they are a legal requirement, hugely important as they hold schools to account for their educational standards. Parents greatly rely on the ratings, they said, to give them confidence in choosing the right school for their child. Local parents are well aware of the issue. I think the teachers, teachers are put under massive pressure to make it something it's not, whereas they're probably getting on very well without Ofsted peeking through. It's double-edged sword. You've got, you've, you've got to inspect and make sure that the, the standards are kept. Um, but at the same time, you've got to give the teachers a chance. The question is, is the current system fit for purpose? It's under more scrutiny than ever. It's really important to say that Ruth Perry's tragic death, her family say, is complex and they understand that it's very hard to, to know the reasons behind someone who dies by suicide. But what they know is the impact that this inspection did have on her stress levels. And this is something that has chimed with so many teachers today and is a real well of discontent. I've spoken to teachers whose colleagues have been physically sick, have been reduced to gibbering wrecks, and they are growing calls for changes within this system, perhaps less frequent, more soft touch inspections, perhaps, perhaps less emphasis on those one word judgments. It's really sad though that it's taken a tragedy to throw this into the spotlight. Tessa, thank you very much for that. And we should say that if you've been affected by any of the issues that you've seen in Tessa's report tonight, you can get help from the Samaritans. And we've put their website on the screen for you tonight. And as you can tell from that report, it's a, it's a really... It divides opinions, doesn't it, Ofsted? What do you think? We'd love to hear your thoughts on it this evening. Are you a teacher, a parent? Maybe you're an Ofsted inspector. Yeah, and remember, you can be anonymous. Don't have to give your name, but we would love to hear from you. WhatsApp us on the five phone.